Every week, UC Davis's Chancellor Gary May and his wife, Lachelle, sit down to give updates on the school. These updates go up on Gary May's Instagram story every Thursday, and the series is appropriately named Thursday Thoughts. However, everyone I have talked to has said that Thursday Thoughts either doesn't quite hold their attention, or they didn't know it existed. So, here on the UC Davis Show, I'm going to not only bring attention to Thursday Thoughts, but also try to spice it up a little. Let's get started. This week's Thursday Thoughts begins with a greeting from Chancellor May and Lachelle, live from the Aggie Room in the Chancellor's residence. If you have no idea what the Aggie Room is, don't worry. No one even knows what an Aggie is. As you probably remember, Gary May teamed up with his daughters to get Lachelle a dress for Christmas, which she unfortunately didn't like at all. So, this week we learned that she exchanged that dress for a different one that she liked better, further proving that if you want a group project done right, sometimes you gotta do that shit yourself. <laughs> but then when job interviewers ask you about the project, you have to reword it a little so you make yourself look like a leader and not a control freak that doesn't know how to delegate tasks. The Chancellor and his wife go on to talk about some musical artists that their kids have put them on to, including Billie Eilish and Hope Tala. And according to my parents, this is the first time we've ever seen kids give their parents hope. <laughs> Last week, we learned that UC Davis has come into a new $50 million due to recent stimulus federal legislation. According to the Chancellor, 17 of this $50 million will go towards student financial aid. Yeah, it was between that or another egghead. A question came in asking if either of the two plans to make a guest appearance in any classes this quarter, to which Chancellor May shared that he actually does one guest lecture every quarter for the Materials Marvels class, where he talks about superheroes and some of the science behind the things they do. At first, I thought it was ridiculous that there was a class teaching students about fiction, but then I remember I took an anthropology class last year. Another question came in asking Gary May how his comic book collection has grown since he moved to Davis to which he revealed that he probably buys 5 to 10 a week, which would equate to around a little over a thousand since his relocation. This need for a source of external entertainment came as a shock to me, because I would have thought that seeing the same exact sunset every evening would have been enough to keep anyone entertained. After all, it is the only good thing that students are seemingly able to highlight about their totally not boring college town. Well, that and the 16 boba shops. A proud parent informed the UC Davis Chancellor that their daughter completed her first quarter at Davis on the Dean's Honor List, to which the Chancellor responded by saying, Yeah, I know. It's my list. The best part is that some people will forget that this show is all about making jokes and think that the Chancellor actually said that. Man, what would we do without the UC Davis show? Have a good week for y'all. Peace. Peace.